What was that? Hey there guys, I'm Creepin Dre and welcome back to the one and only grounded. Why am I talking like this? I have no idea. We're going to the palm map today. As you can see, I've got saved out right here. And um the reason I'm trying to speed off the title screen. <laughs> so I don't drown! We're going to the pod lab today. Like I mentioned in the um, Minecraft video that came out earlier this week. I just recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. It is currently 121. <laughs> Not too long ago, I was recording that video. You know? <laughs> you all thought that there is no game that comes out Wednesday, just two days ago for you guys, because I think this will be coming out on Friday. Okay, yeah. What was that? What on earth was that? Oh my god. I have no idea what that was. I do not want to know. I do not want to know. Where do I get air? Goodbye. That's why we save. Wait, do we have to fight those things to get air? Okay. Man, I have not slept in a while. Craft the pellet dagger. No. Craft fin flops. No. Craft a gill tube. Already did. Stylish goggles. Craft them smooth. Grub hide strips. Increases maximum stamina with aerodynamics. I almost forgot how to say the word. Oh, can you use a better experiment? Ah, so you do get air from destroying them. That is really good to know.
eaten by the fish? Are you kidding me? The fish can eat you. The stupid fish can eat you. Okay. Oh, do you not keep everything in your invent? Do you keep everything in your thing now? Okay, that's that's such, I like that. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I'm going to drown and I don't care. Goodbye, world. See you next year. Yep, I sure did. Delicious. Delicious. Nope, nothing new. Anyways, yeah, I, I just I changed some stuff in here yesterday too. As you can see, we now have purple lights. Don't even need to boil it. Don't you need to boil it. We have plenty of mushrooms too. We have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mushroom stuff now. It'll be nice. What is this? Recovers HP. Allows to breathe under water. Okay, that'd be useful. Why don't I just equip this? Oh, the lag. Oh, right, spider venom. Valuables. Okay. There. Alright, let's go. Man, pretty soon this is gonna be our mega fortress. We'll be so good! You know? That's the end goal. Make a fortress that goes all the way up to the build limit. Whatever it may be. Okie dokie. Now. So yes. The strands and the things. Get out of the way. Creature bits. Where are they at? I just put in something random. Yeah. I didn't. Okay, let's go back. I've never liked underwater exploration places in games except for Subnautica. 
And then again, I never was able to properly beat Sonata. That'd be a fun thing to go back to, is like Sonata, like. Because I was beginning to build a fortress. You know? looks like. I'm assuming that is him. Initial, di initial diagnostics indicate that everything is in working order and ready to begin the Brussels sprouts live testing phase using automated hydroponic aquaculture microponic system or hums I suppose going forward. Bertel's task of cultivating the biome dome mycelium network seems to have not been a complete failure and signals are detectable in all of extremities. Okay, those are optional. Our recent is typically 90 days out, but initial tests show small sprouts are ready within the span of a week. We'll look at we'll look to optimize that further, keeping in mind a certain level of structural integrity is required to scale them up to nearly a grateful size. W. Okay. Pull. Do I really want to do that right now? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. What is that? Ah! What was that? Why did I get rid of the crossbow? What kind of idiot am I? Or the axe. The axe. Oh my god, there you are again! Can get me if I go in here. So I just make a run for it. I should.
so I can spawn underneath here now. Workbench. So I can actually make this now. That would be a good idea. Where is this? So that. Feeling a little safer now. Well, I suppose I can pull the thing now. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, those must be the breakers. Like in, it's, it's like in Subnautica. Soggy root. Let's open. Before we go in there, I just want to see if the door over here is locked now. It is not. So I'm going to save. Save twice. So anything goes horrendously wrong. I'm going to lose a ton of progress. There we go. Okay, so those aren't actually open. Zip zap, zippity zap. A scientific breakthrough. I'm not even gonna try to understand what any of that is. I will take that though. Do it first. Nice. I wonder if I'd get stronger if I ate these muscle sprouts. Ugh. What is that? Is that a brain? Ugh. Generation 7 in a stable old vascular systems have evolved into something inspirational. Sprout, mus sprout musculature amplification research is going swimmingly. Generation 4 being straight up the rhythm, being taught the rhythm of the flesh in a way that frontal networks could transmit a certain decay. Each man is performing an adem an adem at peak efficiency. Concerned crop cycle manipulation is accelerating generational hybrid evaluation at the present rate. Hums is providing to be a highly adventurous apparatus. Super dense brussels sprouts, muscular sprouts, conducting a ripe symphony of proteins, lipids, carbohydrates via the push and pull of a plant and muscular fibers. The applications are here for a sustainable, humane, 
Omnivores nights are tantalizing. Now let's consider an a robotics role game for the lab monitor array to increase the terrific and introduce a motivational aspect of growth. Plus, they ended Burgle's recipe module. Finally, it's something we can share on and bond over. Yeah, I did not understand a single thing that was read. Ooh, what is that over there? Taking a look. Oh. So I'm suddenly in here. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior, I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Trudy has asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers? No! If this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. Well, it looks like he's dead. Mash keys. Okay. Ingredient assessment test samples are currently 0.833%. Target production size. Complex has somewhat tense muscular nuggets. Several flaps overlap to protect a central organ. All entirely edible. An innate sense of fitness and survival compels them to fight against preparation. A smack of the spatula calms them right down. Initial recipe module. Analyst indicates use as a replacement for dry aged beef liver. Unexpected. Compiling flavor profile compatibility. Results onions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't mind it all if I do. Aha, you're open now. Oh my god, you again. Hi. I hate you and everything about you. Harry <sighs> Master. Your impeccable timing gives you an extreme advantage when blocking attacks. That's all that was. <laughs> That'd be cool. Nominal results, not even marginally different from initial pre-test runs. Nitrogen cycle levels remain optimal, and the local fungal network appears robust. Russell sprouts seem slightly loose and fairly limp. They need something to promote growth, but I can't put my finger on it. Other phylogel observations. Trudy finds her ring better suited for the koi pond substance than her hand. Notes, work on making calls to the house. Tell Bertolt to fish that ring out of the pond.
Aha. Okay. I just need 25 more. If we could actually just go through all of the stuff. Find secrets. Oh. Why did I get something bad is about to happen? You know what, let's, let's get this first. At last, failure once again. Project Candidate Generation 21 cannot be scaled without catastrophic side effects. Dally back to Generation 9's parameter, parameter set to finally pass forward. The big brains over at Mouth Town came back with nothing but the grand idea to grind them up into crunchy gristle for the breakfast table. Hard, hardly world changing. They mock me. If only they could taste like. If they, if they could. If only they could taste the meals Burgle had prepared these past few weeks. If only the sprouts survived the scaling process the way the early generations had. I clearly cannot speak my own language. <laughs> it's a shame that cellular maturity is required for the sprouts to become viable as a product. But something about reaching advanced biological age is incompatible, in incompatible with the expanding process. It is purely because the tissue damage slash regrowth cycle is a substantially compressed timeline. They'd be, they'd be not much older than myself if converted to human chronological age, and I haven't experienced effects such as this. case anything horrible happens. There's a chip. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable, trespassed the unforgivable. You missed Thanksgiving dinner. Who can blame Trudy? I know that I pushed things to the breaking point and that she has grit her teeth and borne it. She told me that she could not bear to watch me destroy my life, let alone hers, the children's, in single-minded pursuit of this technology. Never in all the years of knowing her has she given me such a cold, immovable ultimatum. My science or my family. But if only she could see, I am doing this for them. I understand it has been hard. It has been harder on no one more than myself. If only I had more time, if I could just prove to them the wonders that are so, so close now, they would understand, wouldn't they? And if they did not, perhaps they never understood me at all. Interesting. Whoa. That's cool. But they're just like... I nabbed them. By me, I'm just gonna grab them all up. I'm going to leave five of them. Those five can stay. Can't touch this. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Can't touch this. Okay, it's been an hour. I've been recording this for exactly one hour. That's... 
Yeah, it's a lot different doing the... What was that? Is that just a crow? So this is, I take it, Tully's backyard. I don't know how I did not realize that sooner. Here's the thingy thing. Hello there, acting science manager Virgil. At your how can I help you today? I found this thingy. I knew I could count on you. Please hold while I update my files. Here we go. Processing yeah, well, boom. Better than ever. My diagnostic module is now restored. Analysis shows the spacer suffered a catastrophic failure in the embiggening cell. The embiggening cell stores and regulates interatomic energy transfer during the spacing expansion phase of the spacer. Put simply, it controls the rate of growth of the subject and prevents overexpansion, which can be quite messy. <laughs> yes. Um, if the subject's rate of growth is not precisely regulated, overexpansion will cause bioorganic subjects, such as yourself, to pop like a gremlin in a microwave. Er, scientifically speaking, of course. Radiation land. There is both good news and the bad news. Which would you like to have first? Surprise me. All natural flavoring is not, strictly speaking, natural. Now you know. The good news is that I have a spare cell here. The bad news, it is empty. The cell must be filled with a special mixture. A cocktail, if you will. Another breakthrough invention by Dr. Tully. Hold please while I push the recipe for the embiggening cocktail to your scabby. Process A. Error. Missing directory. The directory you attempted to copy does not exist. Boo doo doo. Boo doo doo. Cheese and fries. It appears the formula for the embiggening cocktail is not in my memory. It must be on one of the remaining super chips. We will need that recipe in order to fill the embiggening cell and send you home. I am sorry. It seems like the forces of nature are trying to keep you in this yard. But I believe you are here for a reason. Hold on to the empty cell for me. And when you feel ready, retrieve another super chip to see if we can piece this puzzle together. So this is the next one. Dr. Tully was interested in the medicinal properties of fungus and molds at miniature scale. We were hoping for a breakthrough by engineering a new type of fungus. Unfortunately, the experiment did not work quite the way Dr. Tully was hoping. Yeah, radiation land. Our fungus ended up spreading rapidly and infected the nearby insect life. If you are headed that direction, I would recommend bringing a gas mask. And watch out for the infected. Okay. So that must be the, um, yeah, the haze lab. So what do we have in here now? We can build stuff over the water. Oh, we can curve things. That would be useful. The zip lines would be useful too. Okay.
Nice. So I get anything new? I did not. See, so yeah, the zip line could be used to go across the yard. You know, to over there, next to the juice box. That's what I'm thinking, because we were there before. That's hostile territory. It looks like we have to go to the um, radiation land next. And then, trash bag area. I think. Looks nice. Ooh. I thought we got curved doors. Oh, we do have curved doors. So we got new things in here, too. Drinkable sludge that is scientifically proven to make you swim faster. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'll pass. Oh, that was interesting. Let's see, we just like. Ugh. We're on a tide pull meet. Tide pull. <laughs> Tad pull. So what's gonna go bad first? All of it. Oven. I need the oven. That's what I need. The oven. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next wonderful video. We're going to the pond next. Bye bye.